Shavuot of the videos Lilo Nishma Sushmu Bachim Chayin Tzvi Doiv, and for Shleim with the Chayif from Bas Peramim Yamalka Bashal Shacholi Yisrael. I want to tell you Shabbos Kodesh. So there's t- there's two special divrei that we discussed, and hopefully a chizuk for this week. So we're beginning with Eishes um, Yifas Toyo. The whole parsh of Eishes Yifas Toyo seems to be very difficult to explain it. Basically, a person going to war, a Jewish soldier going to war, and he sees a non-Jewish lady, and he can't hold back from getting married, and the Torah says, it's okay. We said there's a whole process. What's the lesson? Discussing this with my kids. And Rav Yensen Ibish has a bomb kasha, which is a fascinating question. He says, the whole thing doesn't seem to be true. Meaning, practically, why? It's a good chap. If anyone has an answer to this, I offered um, five daf. The answer to the question was like this. He said, I don't understand. Rashi says to him, Mechemes Rishus. means you're not obligated to go out to war. So if it's Mechemes Rishus, it says that they make an announcement. At the announcement, anyone that has a various biyadai should not be at war. And Rav Yenis Nabi says, Mishan Pegava says, a person, in order to do a more serious sin, has to have done a, a, a sin before that. So a person going to war, who is going to be nichshal, is going to be stumbled with Eishe Sefas Torah, must have done something wrong before. But what do you mean? They announce that he's going home. And Mechemes Mitzvah, which is Mechemes Chayva, you're not allowed to keep anyone alive anyway. So who's it, how is it even possible? So we'll let you think about that. But I want to tell you what I was reminded of. An incredible chizik. So there was, there was a great giant. His name was Chizka Abramsky, Zichon Livracha. He wrote it on the Tesefta, and he was in London, and then he was in Slabatka and El Tisrael. I think a Talmud or contemporary of the Biskarov. Anyway, great, great, great Rav. And he was once, this is the story that I recall, he was in London, and he was asked to give a shir to boys that needed chizuk. So, we figured out how difficult it is. He's the giant of he is. Right? So, Friday night, he was asked to come and give a chumashir. No problem. So he gets to Parsha, it happens to be his Parsha's Kiseitze. And he opens up Parsha's Yifas Yifa, Torah. That's what he's going to speak about to these boys in need Chizak. He's thinking to himself, this is, you know, it's a court of guard perhaps. Imagine you're trying to be Makar with a group of boys or girls, and uh, the topic is Eshes Yifas Torah. So, but then he said that he told them an amazing Chizak. He said, what an incredible lesson the Torah is teaching us. And in fact, Rav Zilberstein writes that every he recalls he was in Slobodka and Rechezka Bransky would start Elo with this shmuz. He said, do you realize what the Torah is teaching us here? There's one mitzvah that God said, Hashem said through the Torah, that a person in that situation is not going to be able to hold back and therefore there's a whole process how to do it. But that tells you that anything else, any mitzvah, any situation, Hashem is backing you up. Hashem is telling you, you can do it. And that's the Muslim Shmuz that he would start with an L. There's nothing that could stop you. And then I was thinking that it connects beautifully the end of the beginning of the Pasha, the end of the Pasha. The end of the Pasha is remembering what Amalek did. The mitzvah of Zechiras Mechias, remembering and erasing the name of Amalek. And what's interesting, this year it's very unique. I announced that you have to have Kavana to be Mekhaim the mitzvah this week. Now, if you didn't, you didn't know this, they didn't make an announcement. You could take out a Chumash and read the Pasuk and remember what you're supposed to remember. What are you supposed to remember? You're supposed to remember our Malik. Now, why is this year unique? Because last year, this past Adar, the Pasha Zacher was on Tes Adar. And this coming year is going to be on the 12th of Adar. So it's more than a year. So you, the whole idea is that you're supposed to remember within a year. Really, you're supposed to remember every single day what our Malik did. But we say, if you remind yourself once a year, it's always with you. He and I are not going to make it in time. This is what the Chassam Seva says. It's Kedai to think about it. Some say every day you should think about it. But what should we think about? I'll tell you what you should think about. The Pasuk says, Asher Kocha Baderich. They cooled you off. One of the things that we're supposed to remember, they represent a few things, the Ramban says. One of the ideas the Pasuk says is that they take away the excitement. They take away the emuna. They take away the, the warmth, the, the, the desire to go and get closer to the Rabbi Yisrael. They cool you off. Literally, they cool you off. Like the Marshall Rashi says of, of a boiling bathtub until someone jumps in and cools, it, cools everything off. When a person 
loses passion, when a person doesn't think I could do it anymore, when a person is being saying when when there's a voice that's saying you can't do it, ah, you might as well just give up already now, that's a malik. And that's what we need to eradicate. If the Rabbanu Shasim, we could do it, then that gives us the chizuk and the emunah and the passion and the excitement to go and be able to be matzliach. That's what we need to work with this week. Hatzach to everyone.